Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem trim a binary search tree. So given the root of a binary search tree and the lowest and highest boundaries as low and high, trim the tree so that all its elements lies in low to high range including both. Trimming the tree should not change the relative structure of the elements that will remain in the tree. That is any nodes descendant should remain a descendant. It can be proven that there is a unique answer. So return the root of the trimmed binary search tree. Note that the root may change depending on the given bounds. So let's understand the example here in the picture. So we have this tree which having currently three nodes like one is a root node then left child is zero and the right child is two. So as binary search tree we know all the value all the nodes on the left subtree value is less than is the root and the right subtree is greater than or equal to the value on the root node and here given bound is 1 and 2. So now for solving this what we will do first of all we go to the root node and check whether this root node is in the our bound, bounds or not. So we will compare the values if the root dot value is greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 2 yes it is. So this root is the root only for our finality. So here we created uh, a root as it is. Now we need to call for left of this left and right. So left will become here we will call root dot left the same trim method but the boundary we will reduce our so initially boundaries so initially root is 1 and the boundary is 1 comma 2. Now what we do we will call for root dot left so the root dot left will be like 0 node and the bounds of the root dot left will become the 1 original and the root dot value minus 1. So root dot value minus 1 will become 0. So the bound will be uh, if it is greater than or equal then we need to take the same value root dot value. So this is the possible we will check the constraint after this drawing. So this will become here. Now after this as we can clearly see 0 is not in the bound. So we do not have to given we will return null here. So this is null of so left become null here. Similarly, we will process for the right. So the bounds for right will become like 2 is a value of the node and then the lowest bound is a root dot value plus 1 or root dot value itself if it is a bit. So let us take the 2 root dot value plus 1 and the right bound highest high bound of the initial which is 2. So this is here. So now we will check yeah this is in the bound. So we will take this node and then we will process the left and right and after that there is no nodes in our original tree itself so hence it is null. So this is the final tree after trimming the and the root itself is right now 1. So let us see the constraint in our problem before going to the next example. So the constraint given the number of node is 10 to the power 4. So we have to look for O of an algorithm and all the values in the node is also in the range 0 to 10 power 4 and the value of each node is in the tree is unique. So it is given that all the node in our binary search tree is unique value. So we can take the left bound as a root dot val minus 1 and write down as root dot val plus 1 to high. So let us see this example. So here bound is 1 and 3. So now we will again compare same root. Root is in the bound. So we will. Now after that we will call for right and similarly we will call for left. So the left bound will become from 1 low to uh, root dot value minus 1 which is 2 and the right bound will become here 4. 2, 3. So hence this is not in the bound. From here itself we will return the null and this is null like right. There is no right node after that we trimmed basically this node. And now when we come here 0, now we will compare 0 is this. So before that we will check whether 0 is lying the between if it is lie between the range then it is well and good. We will call the left and right subtree. But if 0 lies on the lower than the left, so which means all the node on the left side of this tree is also lower. So we will just return the node dot right. So we will just return this node to this guy. So here as you can see this 2 come here. So now we again compare 2 whether 2 is right lie between the range or not and the range we will not modify in that case. So range is as it is will be passed 1 to 2 and we again compare yeah 1 to its lie between the range then we again call the left and right subtree of this node. We here pass the value 1 to 1 and here we will pass 3 to uh, 2 and there is null itself. So this is null over and here we will get the 1. 
So we will get 3 then 2 left of 2 is 1. So this is our final after time now. Let's say now if I change the bound itself like we will see the example where the initial root is not in our final answer we have we are trying. So let's reduce this uh, high to 3 to 2. So let's take this example in the next slide here. So now the range is between 1 to 2. So this node itself is not in the our bounds. So what we will do now we again same compare whether this root dot value is lie left side of range. So this is our range 1 to 2 is on the left side. So this lies on the right side of the range. So which means all the node of including this root or the right subtree is greater than the our required range. So what we will do we just discard this right subtree and root and we will call the same method trim from this node basically root dot left and the range is uh, same so far. So this is the approach the range is 1 to 2. Now we will again process like 0 is not in the range but 0 is lies left side of our range. So we will call right, root dot right. So this is the root now it comes in the range and we will start doing the same thing. So this uh, I didn't updated this right side so the final answer will be 2 and then 1. So this is the idea you can pause the video and try to code yourself. So let's start implementing the code. So for the code first we will check if the root is null itself then we will return null here itself. Then second case we will check whether if the root dot value if root dot value is lesser than lower bound low itself then what it means the this guy will all the nodes on the right subtree is also not in our range. So we will just return the trim method from root dot left and the bounds is same low to high. Another condition can be if root dot well is greater than the high. So in that case we again return same method like trim BST from the right subtree. So we will pass root dot right root dot right and the range is same low to high. So this is the base cases now final case when the root lies between the uh, range so it is automatically after that we just call root dot left will be trim BST from root dot left and the range is updated from low to root dot well minus 1. Similarly, we will create the right subtree from root dot right and assign to the root dot right. So this will be from root dot right and the range is from root dot well plus 1 to high. So this is the wound updated wound here. So that is it. Ah, this should be the high. And after that once we process everything we will return the root which is the root of our final trimmed uh, binary size. So let us compile the code and see if it is passing the first test case here. Yeah. So let us test the other test cases given in the problem. So that another let us copy this guy and the range is 1 3. So range is 1 and 3 and for second example when the original root is not 1 and 2 and let us take the empty and range is 1 and 2 and take the one node and range is 1 and 1. So let us see. Let us test all the custom test cases whether it is getting passed or not. So expected root to have one oh so there should be there is be at least one root. So we should remove this test case. Uh, so if we see the diff oh there is a diff here in the test case. So we are getting a wrong answer for the test case here itself. So if we root dot value is lies on the left side so this is wrong actually if root is lies on the left side and our range on the right side so we should call the right here and left here. So that is it so let us try to see if it is passing now. So now if you can see we are getting correct answer for all the test cases let us submit the code. So it got accepted so what is the time complexity of this code. As you can see in worst case we will process all the nodes of our uh, VST tree. So the time complexity is O of n 
and the space complexity is the recursion stack which can go the height of the tree so if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching